This is video number 21 for violin and viola. In this video, we're going to learn the D major scale. We already kind of sort of have talked about it in the previous video because you've already sort of played it in your book. But we're going to do this without playing it in your book, okay? Now, what a scale is, is when you start on one note and you play every note in between until you get to that the name of that note again, okay? So there is a scale for every note on your instrument. Right now, we only can learn how to play the D major scale for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, that is the only key signature we know, because when you play every note, you have to play every note in that same key, okay? Um, and we only know the key signature of D major. Also, we have to play until we get to that named note again. And the only note we know two of is D. So that's the only one we can play right now, all right? So we're going to start on open D. And then the next note up is going to be E. And then after that is going to be F sharp. Because sharp is in the key signature of D major. And then we have G. And then, remember musical alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, go back to A. A, I'm going to move over here, B, C sharp, because remember, there are two sharps in the key signature of D major. You don't have to know a lot about key signatures right now, but I want you to know that. The one key signature we do know has two sharps, and those two sharps are F sharp and C sharp. And so we're playing every note that we know until we get to D again, and then we're done. Okay, we go up the scale, and then we're going to go down the scale as well. Scales can go up, scales can go down, as you already learned from your book, because as number 31 was titled, Down the D Scale. And that started on high D. If you want to look, look along in your book, you can follow this. Started on high D, and then it went to C sharp, and then it went to B, and then to A, and then all the way down to open G, right? So scales go up, and they go down. They can get a whole lot more complicated than that. Um, but for now, that's all I want you to know about scales. The other thing I want you to remember, there is a scale for every single note that exists. So... And even beyond that, those of you that play piano are really good at that. You know all about scales, I'm sure of it. So the first one we're going to learn is D. The next scale we're going to learn, and we won't learn until after we have gotten to like number 90-something in the book. The next scale we'll learn will be the G scale. And after that will be the C major scale. And they'll have a different number of sharps. The G scale will only have one sharp, and the C scale won't have any sharps. That's way farther in the future, though. For now, let's focus on the D scale. And the D scale is something we're going to play every single day, pretty much like from now on, okay? From that, from now until at least the end of like video 30 or 40 or something like that, okay? So I'm going to use the metronome for this. But instead of just playing one of each note, I want you to play two of each note. And when you get to the high D, I want you to repeat it. So what does that mean? You're actually going to play four, right? You're going to play two of each note, and when you get to the high D, repeat that. All right, so you're going to go D, D, E, E, F sharp, F sharp, G, G, all the way up to high D. When you get to the high D, D, high D, high D, then high D, high D, then come down and do C sharp. Then B, B, then A. All right? Okay, play this with me. I'm gonna stand back over here away so you can look at the board. Let me pull this a little closer so that you can look at the board and see those notes and follow along. But I bet you some of you super smart, genius people already have this memorized. Here we go. D major scale up and down, two quarter notes on each note, repeat the high D. And one, two, red C, and go. D. D, now E, hover those fingers, now F sharp, now G, open A, B, C sharp, high D, now repeat that high D, do high D again, 
Now C sharp. Now B. Now A. G. F sharp. E. Open D and let go. Okay? Now, hopefully that went well for you. If you messed up, it was probably when you went from open A to G. And just like we discovered when we were playing number 31 in your book in the previous video, if you're not hovering and if you're not prepared for that coming up, always got to think ahead, you're going to miss it. So if you need to, if you really messed up on the way down, just practice, pause this video now, practice the way down. Practice the way down and then try it again from the beginning. Okay? Um, the next video, we're going to go back and do those pages that we that we missed. So all that echoing that we did um, a couple of videos ago with the, with the really crazy ones where we moved around a lot, it's going to be very beneficial for you now when we get to video number 22. And that's what's up next.